welcome to episode number 24 of the Stephen Gerrard Rebuild. And in today's episode, we are playing against Man United and then Newcastle in the EFL Cup third round. So then, since the last episode, last episode we won 7-0 against Southampton, which was a good game. And then we won against Fulham 3-0, which was another good game. But then we had a 0-0 draw against Aston Villa. Which wasn't a good game. So yeah, we take on Manchester United in this episode. And we have got some bad news. Trent alexander arnolds broke his leg, so he's out for th five months. So that's not ideal at all. But you know, it gives opportunities to other players. I think he broke his leg before the Fulham game. Yeah. And also the Europa League draw has been announced. It looks like we've got very easy. Yeah, very easy draw. Roma and Galatasaray, probably the hard ones in PSV. But other than them, it looks like we can get through there. Easy, we probably won't make take make too much of a focus on the Europa League league phase. So, but so yeah. Let's get into this um, Man United game then. Do we have any other news? I don't think so. Oh, but you know what? don't think I sorted this squad out. Mm. Nah, it looks alright how it is. Because I haven't sorted the bench out. It's fine. So then, let's go straight into the set. It's Osterman up front. You've got Paz on the left, Salah on the right, McAllister in the middle. But Wharton and Jones in midfield, Robertson and Moscatera fullback, and then Bungorio on, or oh, how do you say that? Bungorno and Canate in centre back, and Allison in goal. Yeah, this isn't a cup game, so I don't have to play the other goalkeeper. Dennis Simon. Right then. This game I want to win more than any other game this season because it's against Man United. And I love beating Man United. I know we played against them when, when we were your own manager and I think we lost. Yeah, because that, that game was in the Champions League and it was the main part of the episode. So then, so far, nothing interesting has happened. Except we've had more shots in there. Yeah, after this episode I'll show you the league table as well. Right, Fernandez with the free corner. Oh, what a shot by Rashford. That was a, that was a good shot that was. Yep, that shows why you need to pay attention at every corner. It's wide open. So today I go with a little bit more attacking. Because a loss against Man United will not be good. At all. Severely hurt our chances in this Premier League. Right, McAllister with a free kick. Been going, oh, get in there, Alexandro. Get in there. We're back level now, 1-1. One, one. The nice goal that was. Puts us level just before half time. There you go, in at half time. So the lads go and give these fans the money's worth. These fans have travelled, what, a couple hundred, maybe not even that, miles. Travelled down the road for this game. Manchester's not too far away from Liverpool, so that's an hour drive. Guindo to Rashford. Mason Mount. Guindo sends it in. Holland. It's Holland, isn't it? Yeah, this ain't looking good. Right, after this one, we'll make some subs. Parola. 
Takes his time with a free kick, passes to Mount. Passes to Rashford, who's going to dribble into space and he'll shoot from range and it's another goal for Mount. Free for Rashford. Take Salah off. He's an old man now. Let's bring Gakpo on. Let's bring Nunes on for Oshiman. Right, let's also take off Robertson as well and bring on Marmel. Let's just keep it at the free subs and hope that we can get back into this because not played very well this game at all. Nowhere near as good as we should. We can't be losing to Man United. Of course, we are still trying to recover from last season. Well, last season they came like what sixth in the table. And only won the Carabao Cup. It's not been very good. Last season wasn't for Liverpool. So, so yeah, Water now back to Mermel. Now back to Wharton. Marmel. Wharton. Begonia. Canate. Back to Allison. Back to Begonia. Marmel. Alright, just looks like we're just passing out to the back until we find that perfect opportunity. Musketeer. McAllister, that opportunity has come. But it fades out when they start to pass back again. Moscow area. Gakpo. Now to McAllister. Curtis Jones. He sends it to Gakpo. In the box. But he passed back to Jones because he can't find the clamps. But McAllister is also in the box now. Passes to Mermel. Do not shoot from there. Go on now. He's going to loop for a cross. He'll find a cross. Darwin Nunes gets tackled. But it's Gakpo who sends it away for the goal. What a nice strike that was. And get in there, what a game. This is turning out to be. I'm going to take Curtis Jones off because he's on the yellow. I'm going to bring on Sabozlai for him. Yeah, 2-2 two -two draw, probably deserve it, we didn't play very well. Hopefully, we'll do better in the next game against Newcastle United. Don't know if we'll be able to do that now. Yeah, we only have a two, game, two day gap between the game anyway. So then, and it is also on deadline day as well. Don't have any plans to sign anybody else. Yeah, let's get into this game. All right, then we're here now for the Newcastle game. Let's go. This is the team we're going for. Changes for Gakpo, um, Marino, and Kaiseri, and Seaman in goal. I think they were the only changes. So then, let's get into this game. Hopefully we can win this one because well, we're out of the tournament if we don't win it. We haven't been on a good run. I can tell you that for a fact. Right then, right then, right then. I like how they got the graphics for this tournament. I always forget. Because I never manage in England. Very rarely. So then, here we are. And then whenever I'm managing in England, I'm never managing in the league high enough. To play in the Carabao Cup. Yeah. <sighs> right then. Is it a chance for Newcastle now? Jean Mario, Bakai, Bakayoko. Kyo Guard. Kyo Guard is now in the box. He shoots from range! Deflection off one of our players in Newcastle score hall. Oh my god, we're going to have to rework this tactic, man. <sighs> I 
Let's just have a look at this. I just don't know, man. Let's put the defensive line a bit lower and stop crosses. Lucas can't deal with them. Let's just see how we get on with that. So far, this is ridiculous. I'm really losing. We started off with so much promise with a, a win, a 7 0 win. And then we just got slowly worse. Like, when we drew against Aston Villa, we were bad. And here we go. 2 0, what the f. <laughs> this is awful. What am I looking at subs for? It's not half time yet. It's too early for that. Maybe I rotated a bit too much. But yeah, we're going to need a big performance in the second half to stay in this. Oh no. <laughs> oh, it's half time. I mean, I'm more than disappointed. Let's have a look at a new tactic then. We'll create this one live on camera. Oh, you're having a laugh at Gagan Press. Yes, please. Make sure everybody's happy with the positions. Yep. I feel like we may as well try it, I guess. Unless we make, make it a bit attacking as well. And that that is how I do my tactics. Normally. Because I don't understand tactics that much. I have a rough idea of what they'll do. Not really. Oh, and I didn't make any subs. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll bring Curtis Jones on for for Wharton. There we go. Oh, we're gonna make some more subs now. Hopefully, we bring on some good impact subs, like Harvey Elliott. Let's bring on Nunes. Do you have anybody that can play there? And let's bring on Stefan Bizekski. We've got... We had loads of enough that we never remember what we need. So that's why... He's still at the club. Not looking good. Well, well, what an awful game this has been. What a, what a terrible game of football. What more can I say? Eh? Not happy. Not the slightest bit happy. What the rest of this transfer window to do? For God's sake. Oh, I mean, now do I let him go? I guess you'll have to come back next episode to find out, eh? So yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.